Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. When I first became Muslim, there were a bunch of different ahadith that we learned in the beginning of my journey in Islam. And one of the first ahadith we heard about was from Imam Anawi's Arba'in Anawi, of course, and it's the hadith of Jibril. And in that hadith, it mentioned about the poor destitute Arabs building tall buildings, competing with each other to build tall buildings. And of course, the slave woman will give birth to her master. And when I heard about the slave woman giving birth to her master, I instantly thought, you know, I, I was just a new Muslim, I instantly thought this was in reference to slavery. That's, that was just the first thing that came into my head. And, but at that time, there were no Arabs competing to build tall buildings. So a few years later down the line, we started seeing the Arabs start, starting to compete to build tall buildings. And then we started seeing the rise of the Burj Khalifa, for example. All this happened in my lifetime. And then we started hearing the khutbahs about, you know, that hadith, that particular hadith, the hadith of Jibril. And at this time, it was kind of like a little bit like something that built your iman in Islam and showing that the Prophet Sallallahu is telling the truth. And of course, we believe he's telling the truth. However, there has been so many prophecies happening in recent times that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold, like the drying up of the Euphrates River, gold being discovered there, like the coming of the earthquakes, like the disappearing, disappearing of knowledge, all these things, you know, the Prophet says something he prophesies. Now, one of the hadith that I used to wonder about was concerning Medina. And I lived in Saudi Arabia for nine years. And I stayed in Medina for six months before I left Medina. Oh, sorry, before I left Saudi Arabia, I stayed there for six months. And the hadith in question that we're talking about is from Anas bin Malik, right? And it's in both Bukhari and Muslim, where the Prophet ﷺ, he said that no land will be safe from the Dajjal or the false messiah except for Mecca and Medina. No passage leads to them, but it will be guarded by angels arranged in ranks. The false messiah will appear in a barren place next to Medina, and the city will be shaken three times. Allah will expel from it every unbeliever and a hypocrite. And in the Arabic it says, فَيَخْرُجُ اللَّهُ كُلَّ كَافِرٍ وَمُنَافِقٍ so, I knew about this hadith for a very long time. And even when you're in Medina, you go through, you know, some of these hadith or whatnot when you're, you know, you're sitting with the Tulaba love and whatnot. And this hadith, I used to wonder about quite a bit when I was in Medina, because we understand in Islam that a kafir and a munafik are descriptions of a specific type of people. So a munafik, a pure munafik, is a type of kafir. But not every kafir is a munafik. So when I was in Medina, every single time I went, even for the last six months of my stay there, not once, not once did I ever see a non-Muslim in Medina. Not once. 
And of course in Islam, the munafikun or the hypocrites or what I like to say, I like to call them infiltrators. You can't you cannot just call them, you know, all willy-nilly disbelievers. You can't do that. Uh, this is something that is something within the hearts of the of the people. So I, that was back. I mean, I left Saudi Arabia in 2016. It was not too long ago that I left Medina, but not a single time did I ever see anybody that can be considered a non-Muslim. Not once. So. Now it is 2023, and this is what's going on in Medina right now. It's gonna be cool, I'm, I'm really excited. This is a, a place I've been wanting to visit for a while. We got Abdullah in the house, he'll be taking me to Medina. It's gonna yeah. be fun, man. Yeah, it will be. I'm very excited to uh, experience the holy city of Medina, to, yeah. to eat the food and to see what it's all about. Yeah, we'll have fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> and if you guys remember Abdullah, he's the one that took me around Mecca on the phone call uh, just a few days ago, so. Yeah. <laughs> look in the distance you can see the prophet's mosque a brief glimpse let's try and get a little bit closer <laughs> for everyone who's muslim and watching this who hasn't been here before i guess this is really interesting for you to see what it's like so not even five years after the fact and in these videos as you can see you can even check the time stamps if you look on YouTube or whatnot, we find that Medina has become a tourist destination for non-Muslims. Going back to what the Prophet Sallallahu he said, فَيَخْرُجُ اللَّهُ كُلُّ كَاتِرٍ مُنَافِقٍ That Allah will expel every disbeliever and every munafik, which I like to translate as infiltrator not hypocrite that's my personal you don't have to take it <laughs> right you don't have to take it if you don't want there's no problem but my personal uh preferred translation for monafic is infiltrator and this again is another very clear evidence very crystal, crystal clear evidence of the truthfulness of the Prophet Muhammad because we are reach, reaching those times in which the Dajjal is coming. And there are even more hadith. There's so many more. I mean, we're putting it out on the channel. And Muslims need to be paying attention to not just for the sake of the muslim but as a tool of calling the people to a lot because there's no way you can run from this it's impossible only a few years ago it wasn't it was unheard of that non-muslims would be in medina and now here in the prophet sallam he's saying that Allah will expel every non-Muslim and every Munafik from Medina. Even though at his time, the Prophet Sallallahu he expelled the non-Muslims from Medina, <laughs> all right? He expelled, and that's why these two places are called the, the Haram, you know, the, the sanctuaries because only believers are allowed in there. And when I was in Saudi Arabia, at that time, they would have signs on the highways saying, when you enter into Medina or Mecca, 
they would say basically Muslims this way and non-Muslims go, you know, they, they're not allowed in. They're not allowed into these, these two sanctuaries, but they are not sanctuaries anymore. And the Prophet ﷺ, he told the truth, and we need to open our eyes to the reality of the time that we are living in and stop acting like we have all the time in the world. The time is going. The time is going. And we need to do what we can to protect ourselves from the coming of the Dajjal. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>